Chapter 2111, The Bait Recently, the news about the possible invasion of the upper and lower province by the devil clans had spread to the Black Kshatra sect. The sect was, naturally, shocked when they heard about this. However, they maintained their composure, unlike the masses. After all, the Black Kshatra sect was one of the three great sects in the upper province of the Deo Martial Saint Land. It was a top-tier force in the Deo Martial Saint Land. Ordinary people might fear the devil clans and the invasion. However, it was different for people from the Black Kshatra sect. Although the devil clans were terrifying, the Black Kshatra sect was not weak either. They stood a chance in defending against the devil's clans. If the devil clans invaded the upper province, the Black Kshatra sect, along with the other two great sects, would be humanity's last hope. For this reason, whether it was just a speculation or not, the Black Kshetra sect had to make preparations. This was why they had come to Sin City to buy resources. Coincidentally, Xia Zong was one of the people who came to Sin City. Humph, there are fewer and fewer people who are willing to sell their resources to us, Xia Zong grumbled as he flew next to a Black Kshetra sect elder along the west side of Sin City. His expression was grave. If it were up to me, I'll just kill whoever who refuses to sell us their resources. Xia Zong continued ranting. If the devil clans really invade the upper province in the future, the Black Kshetra sect will be the main force in defending all of humanity. These sectless cultivators in Sin City are just cannon fodder. It's a waste to leave them with their resources. A hint of killing intent could be seen in his eyes when he spoke. The Black Kshetra sect elder flying next to him shook his head and said, Elder Xia Zong, even if what you said is right, there'll be consequences if we kill them. Those sectless cultivators in Sin City might kill among themselves and the sectless cultivators at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage or above wouldn't care. However, if the Black Kshetra sect kills the sectless cultivators, the powerhouses would definitely seek revenge from us. The Black Kshetra sect elder's expression turned solemn when he spoke. Elder Chu, are there really so many sectless cultivators at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage or higher in Sin City? Xie Zong asked skeptically. I'm afraid the number of powerhouses at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage or higher in Sin City is not any lesser than the powerhouses in our sect. Otherwise, why do you think our Black Kshetra sect tolerates such a chaotic city next to our estate? A hint of wariness could be seen in the Black Kshetra sect elder's eyes. Xie Zong fell silent immediately when he heard this. The Black Kshetra sect elder next to him was not an ordinary Black Kshetra sect elder, his rank was a level above Xie Zong. Moreover, his cultivation base was at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial Stage. Therefore, he listened to this elder's words. Meanwhile, both Xie Zong and the Black Kshetra sect elder were unaware that someone was staring at them from a great distance. It was none other than Duan Lingtian who was determined to kill Xie Zong. Previously, Xie Zong, an elder from Black Kshetra sect, had gone to the lower province of the Deo Martial Saint Land and the Azure Cloud Mansion to forcefully take the Devil Seal Tablet from Duan Lingtian. Most importantly, he had killed Duan Lingtian's father's right-hand man, Elder Ku, and a team of black armored guards. Ever since then, Duan Lingtian had considered Xie Zong as his mortal enemy. Since Duan Lingtian managed to meet Xie Zong in Sin City, he knew this was the best chance for him to kill Xie Zong. If he waited until Xie Zong returned to the Black Kshetra sect, it was uncertain when Xie Zong would come out again. Since the Black Kshetra sect had to make preparations for the possible invasion by the Devil's clans, they had sent people to Sin City to gather resources. Once Xie Zong returned to the Black Kshetra sect, it was almost certain it would take a long while before he came out again. Due to this reason, Duan Lingtian was unwilling to miss this opportunity. I'll just wait for them to split up again. As soon as they split up, I can put my plan in motion. Duan Lingtian thought to himself while he spied on Xie Zong and the Black Kshetra sect elder from afar. As the top weapons specialist on Earth in his previous life, Duan Lingtian had extraordinary tracking skills. Although the Black Kshetra sect elder next to Xie Zong was a powerhouse at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial Stage, he did not detect Duan Lingtian's presence at all. About 15 minutes later, Perhaps God overheard Duan Lingtian's silent prayer, the Black Kshetra sect elder finally split up with Xie Zong. The distance between them grew wider and wider. However, when it reached a certain distance, the Black Kshetra sect elder would automatically draw closer to Xie Zong again. 
It seemed like he kept Xie Zong in within a certain range so that Xie Zong would not wander out of the range of his divine consciousness. Xie Zong was the son of one of Black Kshetra sect's four great karma paths, the Golden Lion King. Since the Black Kshetra sect elder had come on this trip with Xie Zong, it was only natural that he had to look out for Xie Zong. If anything happened to Xie Zong, things would not end well for him when he returned to the Black Kshetra sect. Although he was at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial stage, he was like an ant in front of the Golden Lion King. The Golden Lion King was a karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect. All the karma paths in the Black Kshetra sect were at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial stage or higher. Soon after, Duan Lingtian discovered that Xie Zong and the Black Kshetra sect elder were quite far from each other and instantly made his move. It's time. Duan Lingtian's speed was neither too fast nor too slow. It was just the right speed for an ordinary martial cultivator at the early quintessential saint stage. Su, so, after a few moments, Duan Lingtian arrived near Xie Zong, and he flew about 10 meters away from Xie Zong. Xie Zong, naturally, noticed Duan Lingtian's presence immediately. However, after he saw Duan Lingtian's speed, he no longer paid any attention to Duan Lingtian since he thought Duan Lingtian was merely a martial cultivator at the early quintessential saint stage. He did not think Duan Lingtian posed a threat to him. Who? Just as Duan Lingtian and Xie Zong were about to come face to face, Duan Lingtian suddenly raised his arms as though he was about to catch something before he stopped moving completely. Duan Lingtian's sudden movements made Xie Zong put up his guard. Xie Zong stopped moving and glared at Duan Lingtian angrily. Moreover, Xie Zong extended his divine consciousness to check Duan Lingtian's cultivation base. Early Quintessential Saint Stage after Xie Zong found out about Duan Lingtian's cultivation base, he felt at ease. He chided himself for being overly cautious. A mere cultivator at the early quintessential saint stage posed no threat to him at all. He didn't stop moving because of me. After that, Xie Zong noticed Duan Lingtian did not even look at him after he stopped moving. Xie Zong shook his head and prepared to leave. Suddenly, Azura Saber, Duan Lingtian exclaimed. Xie Zong's eyes lit up immediately. Azura Saber? Was it not one of the Super Saint weapons on the 10 Great Saint weapons ranking? Why did the young cultivator at the early quintessential saint stage suddenly scream Azura Saber? Was there something going on? After that, Xie Zong discovered the early quintessential saint stage cultivator who did not even spare him a glance earlier began to look around sneakily after his exclamation. When he saw Xie Zong looking at him, his expression changed slightly. Subsequently, Xie Zong saw the early quintessential saint stage cultivator took a deep break before he began to run in the west direction. First, he shouted out Azura Saber, and now, he's running to the west? It seems like he raised his arms earlier. He was probably receiving a voice transmission jade token? Could it be about the Azura Saber? A while ago, I heard that the Azura Saber has appeared in the western region, and now he's coincidentally running west. Various thoughts appeared in Xie Zong's mind. I must follow him. It's possible he has information about the Azura Saber. If I manage to obtain the Azura Saber for my father, he'll definitely be very happy. A hint of greed appeared in Xie Zong's eyes as he followed the early quintessential saint stage cultivator closely. The cultivator was a handsome man with bright eyes and sword-shaped brows. He was dressed in purple. Why do I feel like I've seen this figure before? Xie Zong thought to himself as he continued to follow the purple-clad young man. However, he could not figure out where he had seen this man before. Xie Zong was certain he had never met this person before. Otherwise, he would have recognized him. Elder Chu, there's some matter I must attend to. I'll see you in a bit. Xie Zong sent a message to the Black Kshetra sect elder through voice transmission before he left the range of the Black Kshetra sect elder's divine consciousness as he chased after the purple-clad young man. He did not want the Black Kshetra sect elder at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial stage to find out about the possible information on the Azura Saber. Otherwise, he would not be able to get his hands on the Saber. Although in regards to strength and status, the Black Kshetra sect elder was no match for Xie Zong's father, the elder had another Karmapas backing him. If the elder decided to snatch the Azura Saber from Xie Zong and gave it to the other Karmapas, there would be nothing left for him and his father. He was, naturally, unwilling to see that happen. For this reason, he temporarily got rid of the Black Kshetra sect elder and followed the purple-clad young man to see if he really had information on the Azura Saber. 
Chapter 2112, Revenge Chu Tan Sheng, a cultivator at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial Stage was the Black Kshetra sect elder who had been beside Xie Zong. He was constantly using his divine consciousness to monitor Xie Zong for safety purposes even though he was not directly next to him. If there was a threat against Xie Zong, he would be instantly made aware of it so he could rescue him. However, since his divine consciousness was constantly focused on Xie Zong, he was less focused on Xie Zong's surroundings. In other words, Chu Tan Sheng would only be alerted if Xie Zong was in danger. However, he would not know where he was or who was with him. Elder Chu, I have some matters to attend to. I'll see you in a while. Chu Tan Sheng was surprised when he received Xie Zong's voice transmission. Then, he noticed Xie Zong had left the range of his divine consciousness when he regained his senses. He could not locate Xie Zong's whereabouts even after he used his divine consciousness to search for him. The Golden Lion King has really spoiled Xie Zong rotten? Doesn't Xie Zong know that danger lurks everywhere in Sin City? Chu Tan Sheng's expression turned grim when he discovered he could not locate Xie Zong. I hope he stays safe. Otherwise, the Golden Lion King will kill me when I return to the Black Kshetra sect. The Golden Lion King was the most violent among the four great Karmapas in Black Kshetra sect. Most of the people who were killed by the Golden Lion King did not have an intact corpse when they died. I should continue searching. Chu Tan Sheng had lost all motivation to buy resources once he imagined the wrath from the Golden Lion King that would befall him if Xie Zong was harmed. In the end, he decided to search for Xie Zong in Sin City. It was unfortunate for him that he began his search on the wrong side of the city. Xie Zong had already left Sin City through the West Gate when Chu Tan Sheng realized Xie Zong was not in the eastern part of Sin City. Xie Zong had left Sin City following the tracks of the purple clad young man. Xie Zong had decided to follow the purple clad young man when he heard the purple clad young man exclaimed out loud, Azura Saber. He thought it was likely the purple clad young man had received information about the location of the Azura Saber. He felt even more certain he was right when he saw the purple clad young man heading west. Xie Zong's target was the Azura Saber, one of the Super Saint weapons on the 10 Great Saint Weapons ranking. The purple clad young man that Xie Zong was tailing was none other than Duan Ling Tian. Success. Duan Ling Tian almost could not contain his excitement when he saw Xie Zong had taken the bait that he had carefully laid out. He had planned to make Xie Zong voluntarily leave the side of the Black Kshetra sect elder who was at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial stage. This was the only way to guarantee his own safety after he killed Xie Zong. Duan Ling Tian needed something that would pique Xie Zong's interest. Something he would not be willing to share with other people. At that time, the Azura Saber appeared in his mind. The Azura Saber was a famous Super Saint weapon on the 10 Great Saint Weapons ranking. Duan Ling Tian decided to use the Azura Saber to lure Xie Zong away. He knew rumors had it that the Azura Saber had appeared in the western region. Naturally, the Black Kshetra sect would hear about it as well. That was why he decided to run west. He knew Xie Zong would come to the conclusion that he had information about the Azura Saber. Right before leaving Sin City, Elder Huo informed Duan Ling Tian that Xie Zong had left the protective range of the Black Kshetra sect Elder's divine consciousness. Duan Ling Tian knew he could kill Xie Zong once they left Sin City, but he was in no hurry to act. The further he went, the safer he would be. Oomph! Xie Zong, you're going to die today. You have no one to blame but yourself. Among the ten super saint weapons in the Dao Martial Saint Land, you already own one, but you still want another one? Who do you think you are? Do you think you have God on your side? Duan Ling Tian thought to himself as he continued making his way west. Duan Ling Tian knew very well that Xie Zong had come after him alone because he wanted the Azura Saber all to himself. He had used Xie Zong's greed against him and lured him into a trap. After all, based on what he could see, Xie Zong was an extremely greedy person. Duan Ling Tian came to a halt after he was 10,000 miles away from Sin City. He did not waste any time before he began to mobilize his Sun Saint energy without restraint. Elementary Devouring Tactic Duan Ling Tian instantly cast the divine ability, the Elementary Devouring Tactic, and whirlpools began to appear around his body. Then, it began to absorb the heaven and earth spirit energy in his surroundings. His Sun Saint energy was rising at an unbelievable speed. Initially, Duan Ling Tian's Sun Saint energy was comparable to the Saint origin of a cultivator at the first form of the Saint Celestial stage. 
Although Duan Lingtian's sun saint energy could not compare to the saint origin of a cultivator at the third form of the saint celestial stage, he was quite close to it. His sun saint energy was currently stronger than the saint origins of most cultivators at the second form of the saint celestial stage. Since breaking through to early quintessential saint stage, my sun saint energy has improved by quite a bit. With my divine abilities and skills, an ordinary cultivator at the third form of the saint celestial stage is not a match for me even if I don't use the jasper celestial sword. Duan Lingtian felt strength surging through his body after the elementary devouring tactic raised his sun saint energy. He could not wait to fight someone to try out his new strength. If I use the jasper celestial sword, I'll be invincible among cultivators below the fourth form of the saint celestial stage. In fact, I'm certain I can kill an ordinary powerhouse at the fourth form of the saint celestial stage if I use the jasper celestial sword. Duan Lingtian's confidence grew as he thought about this. What a coincidence that I don't want Xie Zong to die a quick death. I can take my time and test my divine abilities and skills on him to see the changes after I've broken through to the early quintessential saint stage. I will teach him the meaning of regret and despair. Duan Lingtian muttered through clenched teeth when he recalled how Xie Zong killed Elder Ku and the team of black armored guards. He felt as though all his pent-up anger would explode at any minute now. Eh? Why did he stop moving so suddenly? What's he doing? How did his power increase so dramatically in such a short time? Did he cast an assist-type divine ability? Xie Zong's mind was filled with countless questions. When he saw Duan Lingtian had stopped moving, he stopped moving as well. Xie Zong discovered the changes in Duan Lingtian when he used his divine consciousness to probe Duan Lingtian again. He was shocked to find that the purple-clad young man whose cultivation base was supposed to be at the early quintessential stage seemed to have an energy that was stronger than the saint origin of a powerhouse at the second form of the saint celestial stage. Although it was not as powerful as the saint origin of a powerhouse at the third form of the saint celestial stage, it was still pretty close to it. This young man seems really mysterious. Even after discovering the changes in Duan Lingtian, Xie Zong was not worried nor did he feel threatened. This was because he was still stronger even without using any techniques compared to Duan Lingtian who had used all his techniques. He was confident he could easily defeat the man before him if he used his divine abilities, Xie Zong. A booming voice sounded when Xie Zong was deep in his thoughts. The voice sounded familiar to him even though he could not remember where he had heard it before. After Xie Zong regained his senses, he saw the purple-clad young man whom he had been following had turned back and flew to stand opposite him. Why you noticed me? Xie Zong's expression changed when he realized the purple-clad young man had discovered his presence. More importantly, it seemed like the purple-clad young man knew him. Otherwise, how would the purple-clad young man know his name? It's my plan to lure you out here all along. How can I not know you've been following me? Duan Lingtian said disdainfully as he looked at Xie Zong coldly. Why you lured me out? If Xie Zong was still clueless about what was happening after listening to Duan Lingtian's words, he would have lived his life in vain. Duan Lingtian had intentionally used the Azura Saber to lure him out. Xie Zong instantly studied his surroundings intently. He thought the purple-clad man must not be alone since he did not think the purple-clad young man was a match for him. Don't bother, there are only both of us here, Duan Lingtian said with a sneer. He could easily guess what Xie Zong was thinking based on Xie Zong's actions. Chapter 2113, Revealing His True Appearance? It's just us. Xie Zong was unconvinced when he heard Duan Lingtian's words. He continued to scan his surroundings. He used his divine consciousness to check every nook and cranny in his surroundings as though he would not rest until he found the person he was convinced was still hiding. Duan Lingtian was rendered speechless by Xie Zong's action but he no longer said anything. His gaze was cold as he stared at Xie Zong. Xie Zong shuddered when he felt Duan Lingtian's gaze on him. He quickly regained his senses and turned to look at Duan Lingtian. At this moment, he could feel the intense killing intent radiating from Duan Lingtian. Who are you? Why did you lure me out? Xie Zong asked in a deep voice. At the same time, he was still looking around warily, afraid that someone would sneak up on him. Whether it was the figure or the voice of this purple-clad young man, Xie Zong thought he looked and sounded familiar. However, he could not remember when he had met the purple-clad young man before. However, he was certain of one thing. He had never seen this man's face before. The man's face was not familiar at all. He was certain the purple-clad young man did not disguise his appearance. For this reason, 
He felt extremely baffled. Who the hell was this purple-clad young man? Why did he lure him out here? Why did he feel so familiar? Duan Lingtian laughed loudly when he heard Xie Zong's question. His laughter was unrestrained. Who am I? Duan Lingtian's laughter made Xie Zong feel uneasy. He cried out, Why are you laughing? Brat, do you know I am? I'm black. Before Xie Zong could finish his sentence, Duan Lingtian interrupted him and said, I know you're a black Kshetra sect elder, and I know your father's the Golden Lion King, one of the four great Karmapas of the black Kshetra sect. There's no need for you to give me a rundown of your background. I know all about you. Otherwise, why would I lure you out here? Duan Lingtian stared at Xie Zong intently with a sneer. You, who the hell are you? Various expressions flitted across Xie Zong's face as his voice turned lower and lower. He felt an inexplicable sense of danger even though he knew the purple-clad young man was not a match for him. He thought the sense of danger he felt came from the person hiding in his surroundings. Therefore, he kept using his divine consciousness to search his surroundings. Xie Zong, open your eyes and take a good look at me, Duan Lingtian's voice changed. At the same time, the muscles on his face began to shift before it finally turned into a different face. Duan Lingtian finally revealed his true appearance. When Xie Zong saw Duan Lingtian's true appearance, his eyes widened in disbelief and an expression of incredulity appeared on his face. He felt as though something was stuck in his throat, he could not speak at all. For a moment, it felt as though time had stood still. Xie Zong, naturally, recognized Duan Lingtian the moment he revealed his true appearance. Previously, he had forcefully taken the Devil Seal Tablet, one of the Ten Great Super Saint Weapons, from Duan Lingtian. Xie Zong would have killed him then if Duan Lingtian was not a nine-clawed dragon warrior since he did not want trouble with the dragon clan. Apart from that, he did not kill him because he did not think Duan Lingtian would amount to much even if he was a nine-clawed dragon warrior. When he was at the Azure Cloud Mansion, he had checked Duan Lingtian's innate spiritual root and confirmed that Duan Lingtian merely possessed a yellow innate spiritual root. In his opinion, Someone with a yellow innate spiritual root was a nobody even if they were considered talented in the lower province of the Dao Martial Saint Land. At that time, he thought Duan Lingtian would never be a threat to him. D Duan Lingtian? H how's this possible? How can it be you? Xie Zong regained his senses after a few moments. He looked at Duan Lingtian in shock and horror. A hint of disbelief could be seen in his eyes as well. Not even in his dreams did he imagine that the purple-clad young man whose strength was almost on par with his strength after the purple-clad young man had cast his divine abilities was Duan Lingtian whom he had encountered in the Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province of the Dao Martial Saint Land. In the past, Xie Zong though it would nigh impossible for Duan Lingtian who possessed a light yellow innate spiritual root to break through to the quintessential saint stage even if Duan Lingtian came to the upper province. He thought Duan Lingtian's limit would be at the peak of the exemplary saint stage at most. Even if Duan Lingtian managed to break through to the quintessential saint stage by chance, it would be extremely difficult for him to progress any further. As a saint celestial stage powerhouse, Xie Zong thought Duan Lingtian would still be like an ant even after Duan Lingtian had grown stronger. In his opinion, Duan Lingtian was worthless and would not pose a threat to him at all. It was completely out of his expectation that the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province of the Dao Martial Saint Land whom he considered to be like an ant would grow so strong in just a year or two. Duan Lingtian was almost as strong as him. Duan Lingtian ignored Xie Zong's surprise. His gaze turned colder as he said indifferently, Xie Zong? Back then, you killed Elder Ku in my Azure Cloud Mansion and snatched the Devil Seal Tablet away from me. You even planned to destroy the Azure Cloud Mansion even though you failed to do so in the end. At that time, I swore to myself that if I don't kill you then I'm a useless person. Today will be the day I fulfill my promise to myself. Duan Lingtian's voice gradually turned calmer as he spoke. However, his killing intent grew stronger and stronger in his eyes. Xie Zong laughed uproariously when he heard Duan Lingtian's words and after he confirmed there was truly no one hiding in his surroundings. Duan Lingtian only continued to look at him calmly. After a while, Xie Zong finally stopped laughing. He looked at Duan Lingtian disdainfully as he said, Duan Lingtian, although I don't know what fortuitous encounter you had to grow so strong with your lousy innate spiritual root, do you think you really got me trapped? Although Xie Zong was shocked by Duan Lingtian's improvement within these two years, he did not think much of it. 
He remained calm because there was nothing he could do about Duan Lingtian's growth in strength. He speculated that Duan Lingtian was so bold to act at this time because he had gotten stronger and he was a nine-clawed dragon warrior. In Xie Zong's opinion, judging by Duan Lingtian's current strength, if he transformed into a nine-clawed dragon warrior, he might be a match for Xie Zong. However, it would be difficult for him to defeat Xie Zong. Therefore, Xie Zong was not afraid. Xie Zong was the son of the Golden Lion King, one of the four great Karmapas in the Black Kshetra sect. Moreover, he was the Golden Lion King's only son. His strength was not the only thing he could rely on. If he transforms into a nine-clawed dragon warrior, I should still be a match for him. I suppose I'll toy with him for a while. I'll send a message to Elder Chu once I get bored of toying with him. Even if he's stronger than me, and Elder Chu can't reach me in time, I still have a Deo Talisman that can send him to hell in just an instant, Xie Zong thought to himself. He did not fear Duan Lingtian at all. You'll see soon enough, Duan Lingtian said before he made a sudden move. In just an instant, the majestic Sun Saint energy surged out of Duan Lingtian's body and transformed into a pair of flaming wings that sprouted from his back. The wings were extremely lifelike. Even the fire on the wings made the surroundings hotter. The Golden Crow's Wings Duan Lingtian cast his high-grade movement divine ability. As soon as Duan Lingtian cast his movement divine ability and a pair of flaming wings appeared on his back, Xie Zong who was looking at him disdainfully just a few moments ago cried out, Why you read the fire worship sex prodigy, Duan Lingtian? If one listened carefully, one could hear a slight tremble in Xie Zong's voice when he spoke. When Xie Zong saw the flaming wings and recalled the assist type divine ability that Duan Lingtian had cast earlier to raise his strength, the puzzles began to fall into place for Xie Zong. He instantly recalled Duan Lingtian, the new prodigy from the fire worship sect who had recently become famous in the Dao Martial Saint Land, Duan Lingtian, the new prodigy from fire worship sect, he managed to defeat Buledin Hong who was ranked second and took Buledin Hong's place as the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect. Moreover, Duan Lingtian was also ranked at the 421st place on the Supreme Saint ranking, as Duan Lingtian rose to fame in the fire worship sect. News about him mastering four high-grade divine abilities had spread like wildfire in the upper province of the Dao Martial Saint Land, shocking everyone. It was not uncommon for powerhouses from the older generation to master four high-grade divine abilities. However, it was almost unheard of for someone so young to master four high-grade divine abilities. It was extremely rare even in the history of the Dao Martial Saint Land, for this reason, News of Duan Lingtian successfully mastering four high-grade divine abilities was a well-known fact in the upper province of the Dao Martial Saint Land. Even Xie Zong who was in the Black Kshetra sect had heard about it. Xie Zong instantly recognized the high-grade movement divine ability that Duan Lingtian cast due to its extraordinary characteristics. Golden Crow's Wings Chapter 2114 Using Every Move He Mastered Xie Zong knew instantly that Duan Lingtian was the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect when he saw the flaming wings on Duan Lingtian's back. Although he had seen the portrait of Duan Lingtian from the fire worship sect, Duan Lingtian's appearance was completely different from earlier and when he was in the Azure Cloud Mansion. Moreover, the people from the fire worship sect even confirmed Duan Lingtian was not in a disguise. However, Xie Zong had just personally witnessed Duan Lingtian disguising himself with a mystical secret tactic. It was not difficult for him to guess that Duan Lingtian had also disguised himself in the fire worship sect even though he used the same name. I didn't expect you to be able to guess that I'm Duan Lingtian from the fire worship sect just by looking at my two divine abilities. If Xie Zong still could not piece the puzzle together after Duan Lingtian cast two of his divine abilities, then he must be extremely ignorant or stupid. Xie Zong had taken a little longer to realize this because the news of Duan Lingtian, the prodigy from the fire worship sect, being a nine-clawed dragon warrior had not spread out yet. Even if word of it leaked out, not many people believed it. Therefore the news died down before it gained any momentum. After all, a nine-clawed dragon warrior was like a mythical creature. It was only natural people were skeptical. If news of Duan Lingtian from the fire worship sect being a nine-clawed dragon warrior had spread out, Xie Zong would have been able to make the connection that the Duan Lingtian from the Fire Worship Sect was the same Duan Lingtian from the Azure Cloud Mansion in the Lower Province whom he had snatched the Devil Seal Tablet from. I didn't expect this either. 
Xie Zong's eyes turned cold as he said in a deep voice, If I knew you would grow so strong in such a short time, I wouldn't have shown mercy back when I was in the Azure Cloud Mansion. Duan Lingtian laughed when he heard Xie Zong's words. Show mercy? Xie Zong, if my memory serves me well, you didn't kill my back then because you're wary of my status as Nine Clawed Dragon Warrior, right? Moreover, with my innate talent, you didn't think I'll be able to catch up to you. Otherwise, would you have shown mercy? How funny. Duan Lingtian's words exposed Xie Zong's thoughts back then. It caused Xie Zong's expression to change. Duan Lingtian asked, Don't you regret not killing me back then? When he saw the various expressions flitting across Xie Zong's face and how quiet he was, he continued to say, Are you thinking that if you had killed me back then, I won't be standing here now? It's too bad there's no cure for regret. Today, I will fulfill my promise and kill you to avenge Elder Ku and the ten black armored guards from the Azure Cloud Mansion. His voice turned thunderous as he spoke. Regret. Duan Lingtian's thunderous voice caused Xie Zong to snap back to reality. He quickly regained his composure. He sneered as he said, Duan Lingtian, don't you think you're overestimating yourself? I'll admit that you're quite strong. However, it's still uncertain which one of us is stronger. Are you so certain of your victory? Xie Zong chuckled after he finished speaking. You'll see soon enough if I win or not. Duan Lingtian decided not to waste words with Xie Zong any longer and he began to make his move. He flapped his golden crow's wings. In the next moment, boom, 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 the sound of air explosions rang in the air as Duan Lingtian's body moved. He vanished from his spot and charged towards Xie Zong at an extremely fast speed. His speed was comparable to powerhouses at the third form of the Saint Celestial stage. I'd like to see how strong is the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect, Xie Zong said indifferently. He was fearless when faced with Duan Lingtian who was charging toward him at lightning speed. The saint origin that he had been accumulating surged out of his body in an instant. In the next moment, Xie Zong shot up into the sky quickly. His speed was not any slower than Duan Lingtian's speed. Currently, he had also cast an assist type divine ability and a movement divine ability. That was why his speed was so fast. Not too long ago he was just like an ant before me. Currently, he's as strong as I am. Xie Zong thought to himself. When he discovered Duan Lingtian's speed was not any slower than his speed, his heart sank and his expression turned gloomier and gloomier. After all, Duan Lingtian had not even transformed into a nine-clawed dragon warrior yet. Once he transformed into a nine-clawed dragon warrior, his speed would be further enhanced. It was not impossible for Duan Lingtian to surpass Xie Zong at that time. Damn it! How did Duan Lingtian master these two powerful high-grade divine abilities in such a short time? Moreover, he has also mastered a high-grade offensive divine ability and a high-grade defensive divine ability. The high-grade defensive divine ability that he has mastered has to be the number one defensive divine ability in the Fire Worship Sect, the Black Turtle's Barrier. Xie Zong felt annoyed when he thought of this. Duan Lingtian was slightly surprised when he saw Xie Zong's speed. He's indeed worthy of being the son of the Golden Lion King, one of Black Kshetra sect's four great karmapas. Although Xie Zong has just entered the third form of the Saint Celestial stage, in terms of speed, Bu Hong, who's at the third form of the Saint Celestial stage is inferior to him. Duan Lingtian knew Xie Zong had also cast a high-grade movement divine ability. As for the assist-type divine ability Xie Zong had cast, it seemed like it was only a medium-grade divine ability. Nine Clawed Dragon Warrior Although Duan Lingtian did not plan to use the Jasper Celestial Sword to kill Xie Zong with just one move, it did not mean he would not use other means at his disposal. When he discovered Xie Zong was as fast he was, he instantly transformed into a nine-clawed dragon warrior. In just a blink of an eye, he turned into a humanoid dragon. His head was human but his body was that of a dragon. This was the form of a nine-clawed dragon warrior. There's no need for me to hide anything now. Today, I'll teach Xie Zong the meaning of despair. Duan Lingtian thought to himself as he unleashed the full power of a nine-clawed dragon warrior. Currently, Duan Lingtian was using all the moves he had in his arsenal except for the Jasper Celestial Sword. Earlier, Duan Lingtian's speed was on PAR with Xie Zong. Now that he had transformed into a nine-clawed dragon warrior, his speed became even faster. He had completely surpassed Xie Zong. Duan Lingtian shouted, Xie Zong. He charged towards Xie Zong quickly, closing the distance between them. Damn it! 
Xie Zong spat out when he saw Duan Lingtian's enhanced speed. He knew he had no advantage when it came to speed. Therefore, he decided to stop moving. After that, he raised one of his hands and a seven-foot-long spear appeared in his hand. Wang, when the long spear moved, it stirred the air around it. It emitted a piercing aura. The aura clearly did not belong to an ordinary saint weapon. A thousand inscriptions saint weapon. Duan Lingtian cried out immediately. He did not expect a mere black Kshetra sect elder at the third form of the saint celestial stage would possess a thousand inscriptions saint weapon. After a while, he realized he was being naive. Xie Zong was the only son of the Golden Lion King after all. As one of the four great karmapas in the black Kshetra sect, it would not be difficult for him to obtain a thousand inscriptions saint weapon for his son. I didn't think you will be able to recognize a thousand inscriptions saint weapon. Xie Zong sneered as he spun the long spear around as his saint origin skyrocketed. At this moment, Xie Zong unleashed all his strength, including the martial tactics and divine abilities he had mastered with the thousand inscriptions saint weapon in his hand. Boom! Xie Zong thrust the long spear forward as the sounds of explosion rang in the air, overwhelming all other noises. Xiu, almost at the same time, a short-lived sword cry rang in the air. The gleam of a sword could be seen soaring through the sky toward the thousand inscriptions saint spear. When Duan Lingtian made his move, Xie Zong caught a brief glimpse of the sword gleam. A thousand inscriptions saint sword. With Xie Zong's spiritual eyes, it was easy for him to discern that Duan Lingtian's sword was extraordinary. He could sense an aura from the sword that was similar to his thousand inscriptions saint spear. That was how he instantly knew Duan Lingtian had a thousand inscriptions saint sword. Xie Zong's expression changed drastically when he discovered Duan Lingtian had a thousand inscriptions saint sword. He thought he would have an advantage since he possessed a superior weapon. Clang! The sound of metal clashing rang in the air as the thousand inscriptions saint sword clashed with the thousand inscriptions saint spear. The forces contained in the weapons clashed, causing explosions in the air. The sound of the forces from the weapons clashing was nothing compared to the sound of metal clashing. After a few moments, Xie Zong fell into a disadvantageous position. He was affected by the forces from the saint weapons clashing. He was sent flying back. When he landed, his face was pale as he threw up a mouthful of blood. The sight of his blood splattering in the sky was dazzling and eye-catching. Chapter 2115, Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman The fight between Duan Lingtian and Xie Zong happened so quickly, and the winner and the loser of the fight became apparent just as quickly. Duan Lingtian had completely overpowered Xie Zong. I didn't even use my offensive divine ability, Duan Lingtian said to Xie Zong through voice transmissions. Xie Zong felt humiliated when he was sent flying from the forces of the Thousand Inscriptions Saint Weapons. He was so angry he threw up another mouthful of blood. Duan Lingtian's words undoubtedly enraged Xie Zong even more. He was already in such a wretched state. But Duan Lingtian told him that he did not even use his offensive divine ability. If Duan Lingtian had used his offensive divine ability, did it mean Duan Lingtian could easily kill him? After a while, Xie Zong finally managed to steady himself. His expression darkened as he looked at Duan Lingtian with killing intent. Duan Lingtian, do you really think you've defeated me just because you're stronger than me? What? Are you going to seek for help by sending out a voice transmission jade token? Duan Lingtian sneered when he heard Xie Zong's words. He knew what Xie Zong was thinking but he was not worried at all. He honestly did not care. Duan Lingtian was much stronger than Xie Zong, even if Xie Zong sent a voice transmission jade token to seek help, he would be able to kill Xie Zong before help arrived. He would have been long gone when the person Xie Zong sought help from arrived. Suddenly, Elder Huo said, don't forget about the minor major mirror image talisman. It was clearly a reminder. After Duan Lingtian killed Yao Bu Letinji, the leader of the Ground Axe Alliance, he returned to Sin City and researched on the various talismans available in the upper province of the Dao Martial Saint Land. After Duan Lingtian spoke to Elder Huo, Duan Lingtian realized it was the minor major mirror image talisman that exposed his identity to Yao Bu Letinji. Upon hearing Elder Huo's words, Duan Lingtian nodded before he said, Don't worry. Before I kill him, I'll retrieve the minor image talisman from him if he's carrying one. However, I'm not in a hurry to kill him, I'm going to torture him and let him know what despair feels like. Duan Lingtian's voice was so cold that it seemed as though the temperature in the surroundings had dropped a few degrees. 
The hatred Duan Lingtian felt for Xie Zong for Elder Ku's death, the deaths of the Black Armored Guards, and for forcefully taking away his Devil Seal tablet was not something he would be able to easily let go. Minor Major Mirror Image Talisman was a set of two talismans. They were the Minor Mirror Image Talisman and Major Mirror Image Talisman. If the person carrying the Minor Mirror Image Talisman was killed or if it was activated, it would transmit a video of what happened to the person carrying the Major Mirror Image Talisman through a mirror image. All the person needed to do to watch what happened was to crush the Major Mirror Image Talisman. As a Black Kshetra sect elder and the only son of the Golden Lion King, one of the Black Kshetra sect's four great karmapas, it was impossible that Xie Zong did not carry a Minor Mirror Image Talisman with him, Duan Lingtian had already planned for this. Before he killed Xie Zong, he would severely injure him. At that time, he would search and take the Minor Mirror Image Talisman from him before killing him. However, would everything go as smoothly as Duan Lingtian had planned? I don't need anyone else's help. Just me alone is enough to kill you. Xie Zong sneered when he saw Duan Lingtian's contemptuous expression. Who? As soon as Xie Zong finished speaking, he raised his hand and a talisman glimmering with violet light appeared in his hand. Upon closer inspection, one would be able to tell it was a Deo talisman. The Deo talisman was not violet. It was only surrounded by tiny flashes of violet lightning. Once it was activated, the air and the heaven and earth spirit energy would be sucked dry. Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, Duan Lingtian exclaimed. His expression changed dramatically when he realized what kind of Deo talisman it was. When he was researching Deo talismans in Sin City, he had also learned about the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. He knew that the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman was a powerful offensive Deo talisman that could only be created by a quasi-celestial grade Deo talisman's master. The Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talismans were rumored to be able to kill all cultivators below the fourth form of the Saint Celestial Stage. It did not matter if they were humans or beasts. Even powerhouses at the fourth form of the Saint Celestial Stage would be severely injured by the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. Even if they were not killed, they would be on the brink of death. Generally, only powerhouses with cultivation bases at the fifth form of the Saint Celestial Stage or higher were able to withstand the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. Xie Zong laughed when he saw Duan Lingtian's expression had changed drastically when he realized what kind of Deo Talisman it was. It took a while before he stopped laughing. Duan Lingtian, I didn't think you will be able to identify the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, Xie Zong sneered. He did not expect a country bumpkin from the lower province of the Deo Marshall Saint Land would recognize a top-grade Deo talisman in the upper province. Xie Zong's father, the Golden Lion King and one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect, had given the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder talisman to him for protection. His father had expended much effort to obtain this Deo talisman. Duan Lingtian, you can consider yourself to have lived a great life if you die from the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder talisman. Xie Zong said again without waiting for Duan Lingtian to respond. As soon as he finished speaking, he did not waste any time and threw the Deo talismans that had many flashes of violet lightning around it toward Duan Lingtian. Subsequently, Xie Zong opened his mouth in preparation to say the word activate. Once that word was uttered, the violet myrtle celestial thunder talisman would release a destructive force. Time seemed to have stood still. At the moment Xie Zong opened his mouth. Xiu. During the crucial moment, before Xie Zong could say the word to activate the Deo talisman, the short-lived sound of a sword cry rang in the air again. At this moment, Xie Zong briefly saw the sword's gleam again. Wait, this sword isn't the Thousand Inscriptions Saint Sword. It's much stronger than the Thousand Inscriptions Saint Sword. This was Xie Zong's last thought before he died. He did not have time to react before blood bloomed from the wound in between his brows. Slash. A moment after the bloody wound appeared, the sound of a sharp sword slicing into flesh and bones rang in the air. Blood kept gushing out from the wound between Xie Zong's brows as his body fell to the ground. His mouth was still wide open even though he could no longer speak. Oh, no. Duan Lingtian's expression changed slightly after he successfully killed Xie Zong with the Jasper Celestial Sword. This was because he could feel a wave of energy from a Deo talisman that was clearly the minor mirror image talisman. He was very certain of this. The incident here must have been transmitted to the carrier of the major mirror image talisman. 
There was no doubt the carrier of the major mirror image talisman was the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect. I couldn't do it in time. Although Duan Lingtian felt slightly troubled, he did not give it much thought since there was nothing he could do at this point. Earlier, Duan Lingtian had to act quickly, he had no time to search for the minor mirror image talisman that Xiezong carried. Once Xiezong uttered the word activate, the violet myrtle celestial thunder talisman would release a destructive force that would kill anyone below the fourth form of the saint celestial stage. Under those circumstances, Duan Lingtian would not have been able to withstand that attack even if he cast all his defensive skills and the defensive divine ability, the Black Turtle's Barrier. He might be able to block some of the force from the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman if he wielded the Jasper Celestial Sword with all his strength. However, after that, he would run out of strength and be left vulnerable. At that time, even if Duan Lingtian managed to survive the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, he would not have any strength left to fight Xiezong. Xiezong would definitely kill him. At the crucial moment, he quickly brought the Jasper Celestial Sword out to kill Xiezong before he could activate the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. It seemed like everything turned out well but Duan Lingtian could not help but feel uneasy. This was because he had taken a huge risk. If the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman was activated at the same moment Duan Lingtian attacked with the Jasper Celestial Sword with the help of the third stage of the Sovereign Heart Sword, he would be killed along with Xiezong. At this moment, Duan Lingtian sighed in relief. Luckily, Xiezong was a step slower than me. After Duan Lingtian regained his composure, he put the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman into his spatial ring. From now on, the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman would become one of his trump cards. Its strength was comparable to the strength of the Jasper Celestial Sword. Meanwhile, Duan Lingtian did not forget to ask Elder Huo for help in devouring Xie Zong's innate spiritual root. Elder Huo, help me devour his innate spiritual root. It was quite a surprise actually. As the only son of the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect, Xiezong only possessed a light blue innate spiritual root. Although Xiezong's light blue innate spiritual root would not improve Duan Lingtian's innate spiritual root much since he possessed an indigo one, he was still happy since it was better than nothing. I wonder if the Devil Seal tablet is in his possession. Duan Lingtian took Xiezong's spatial ring and established ownership over it before he looked at what was inside. With just a glance, he saw there were many things stored in Xiezong's spatial ring. Chapter 2116, Xiekong Sun, The Golden Lion King In Xiezong's former spatial ring, high-grade saint stones were piled up as high as a mountain. There were so many treasures in there that Duan Lingtian fell into a daze for a short moment. When he regained his senses, his attention was quickly caught by something lying in the corner. It was a stone tablet with a chipped corner, the Devil Seal Tablet. When Duan Lingtian saw the Devil Seal Tablet, he was surprised and delighted. It was definitely a pleasant surprise. He did not expect that Xiezong did not hand it over to the Black Kshetra sex Golden Lion King after he had snatched it away from Duan Lingtian. I didn't expect I'll regain the Devil Seal Tablet so easily. With just a thought, Duan Lingtian retrieved the Devil Seal Tablet and reached out to gently touch it. He was very excited that it took him a while to calm down. After a while, he recollected himself and put the Devil Seal Tablet away. If the Devil Clans really invade the Dao Marshal Saint Land, the Devil Seal Tablet is going to their nightmare. Duan Lingtian thought to himself with a glint in his eyes. After learning about the existence of the Land of Exile, the Devil Clans, and the possibility of the Devil's Clans invading the Dao Marshal Saint Land again, Duan Lingtian had greatly missed the Devil Seal Tablet that was taken away by Xiezong. The power the Devil Seal Tablet held over the Devils were far stronger than its effect on ordinary Devil cultivators. Even so, I wish that it's all just speculations and the devil clans won't invade the Dao Marshal Saint Land, Duan Lingtian thought to himself. If the devil clans had already invaded the Dao Marshal Saint Land, this meant the lower province was currently like hell on earth. His family and friends would definitely be affected. It's time to go back. After taking a deep breath, Duan Lingtian came back to his senses. Sun Saint energy surged out of his body as it blew Xiezong's body up into pieces. After that, he returned to Sin City. During Duan Lingtian's journey back, he reverted back to his human form. Apart from that, he also decided to use a new disguise. His new disguise was not handsome. It was an extremely average face.
he would definitely not stand out in a crowd. I'm sure the Black Kshetra sex Golden Lion King has already found out about Siezong's death. I'm afraid he's probably making way to Sin City now. It was not difficult for Duan Ling Tian to come to this conclusion. However, he was not afraid. He was very confident about his disguising tactic. Even if he stood in front of the Golden Lion King, he was certain the Golden Lion King would not know he was the one who killed Xie Zong. However, the Golden Lion King will find out about my true identity from the major mirror image talisman. Duan Ling Tian thought to himself, feeling slightly worried. Duan Ling Tian was certain when Xie Zong took the Devil Seal tablet away from him, he must have told his father, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect, about it. It was very likely the Golden Lion King knew he was a nine-clawed dragon warrior. Moreover, the Golden Lion King would know his true appearance as well through the minor major mirror image talisman. I hope the upper provinces interprovince transportation formations will remain broken for now, otherwise, the Golden Lion King might find my family to seek revenge for his son. Duan Ling Tian did not doubt the Golden Lion King would look for his family in the lower province to seek revenge. Just as Duan Ling Tian expected, when Xie Zong died, an earth-shattering leonine roar sounded from deep inside the Black Kshetra sex estate that was located inside a forest near Sin City. Zonger, anger could be heard in that leonine roar. Boom, in the depth of the Black Kshetra sex estate, a room in the side of a huge mansion was destroyed with a loud sound. As the dust flew up, a tall and strong figure could be seen standing inside the room. It was an old man who was two meters tall. He had long white hair that was similar to a lion's mane. Apart from that, he had thick and fierce-looking eyebrows that framed a pair of round angry eyes. His face was covered with a white and curly beard. He hovered in the air as a terrifying killing intent radiated off him. It seemed that even the air had stagnated around him. This old man was none other than the Golden Lion King, one of Black Kshetra sect's four great karmapas. He was one of the strongest powerhouses in the Black Kshetra sect. His cultivation base was already at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage. The seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage was also known as the Heaven-Defying Form. If there were no accidents, they would not die. Naturally, the Golden Lion King was just a title. This Karmapa had a name. It was Siakong Sun, Zonger, Zonger. At this moment, Siakong Sun, the Golden Lion King, was trembling violently as he looked at something in his palm. There was a tiny mountain of dust in his palm. It was clearly the shattered remains of a soul pearl. His son had been killed. Siakong Sun quickly raised his arm and a Deo talisman appeared in his hand. It was the major mirror image talisman that was part of the minor major mirror image talisman. This major mirror image talisman was a set with the minor mirror image talisman his son, Xie Zong, had carried. Siakong Sun tore the major mirror image talisman as a scene began to play out in front of his eyes. He saw his son, Xie Zong, and a purple-clad young man. He witnessed with his own eyes how the muscles on the purple-clad man's face began to shift before it transformed into another face. He could roughly guess what was going by reading Xie Zong and the purple-clad young man's lips. He's the man from the lower province whose devil seal tablet was taken away by my son. Xie Kong Sun knew the purple-clad young man was the young mansion master of the Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province of the Dao Marshal Saint Land. His name was Duan Ling Tian. His son had taken the Super Saint weapon, the Devil Seal Tablet, away from Duan Ling Tian. Duan Ling Tian? Isn't there a prodigy who had quickly risen to fame in the Fire Worship sect whose name is Duan Ling Tian? Xie Kong Sun's expression darkened immediately. He did not expect the person from the lower province whom his son robbed the Devil Seal Tablet from was the second strongest prodigy in the Fire Worship sect who had recently risen to fame. Both of them were the same person. How unexpected? Xie Kong Sun kept watching the scene that was playing out. He saw how his son was killed when he attempted to use the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. Xie Kong Sun's expression turned grimmer. The temperature in his surroundings seemed to have dropped by a few degrees. In the next moment, a terrifying killing intent surged out of his body. Revenge burned and raged in his heart. That sword is far stronger than a thousand inscriptions saint weapon. It's so fast that even the mirror image talisman could hardly capture its movements. It should be the traceless sword, one of the super saint weapons on the ten great saint weapons ranking. Xie Kong Sun took a deep breath to calm himself down. After that, he analyzed the scene that he had seen. He would not forget the scene in his entire life. After a while, 
Xie Kong Sun was certain the sword Duan Ling Tian used in the end was indeed extraordinary. It had to be the traceless sword, one of two swords on the Ten Great Saint Weapons ranking, it should be the traceless sword that's known for its traceless attacks. Xie Kong Sun thought to himself as his killing intent intensified. The rage in his eyes seemed as though it would burn everything. Zong Er, don't worry. I'll look for Duan Ling Tian now. I'll kill him to avenge you. Meanwhile, many people had flown over to Xie Kong Sun's residence when they heard the ruckus. However, when they arrived they did not see him at all. Xie Kong Sun had already left the Black Kshetra sect and was making his way to Sin City. As Xie Kong Sun traveled to Sin City, his rage intensified, showing no signs of dying down at all. In his opinion, Duan Ling Tian was a dead man. Duan Ling Tian, you dare to kill my child. You'll have to pay for it with your life. Sin City, Duan Ling Tian who guessed that the Golden Lion King, one of Black Kshetra sect's four great Kamapas, was about to arrive in Sin City found another inn to stay in after he returned to Sin City. Elder Huo, do you have any secret tactic that can help one to change one's body size? Duan Ling Tian instantly asked Elder Huo after he settled down. Although he could disguise his face very well without any flaws, he was not able to change the size of his body. If the Golden Lion King from the Black Kshetra sect memorized his figure from the scenes shown through the major mirror image talisman, he might be able to identify Duan Ling Tian. Although there were many people with similar build, who knew if the Golden Lion King would go into a frenzy and kill everyone who had the same build as Duan Ling Tian? There was a saying, it's better to err on the side of caution and kill a thousand people than to accidentally miss out one person. Chapter 2117, Identity Exposed A secret tactic that can change one's body size would change everything. Only the Celestials are capable of such a thing. Elder Huo said, mercilessly destroying Duan Ling Tian's hope. His words simply meant that such a tactic existed, but it was not something Duan Ling Tian could master at the moment. Only the Celestials who had successfully passed the Heavenly Tribulation and ascended to the David realms were capable of such a feat? I guess I'll have to think of another way, Duan Ling Tian thought to himself. Soon after, Duan Ling Tian left the inn to buy a few long and loose black robes with hoods that would fully hide his body. If I go out wearing these robes, even my father and mother won't recognize me, let alone the Golden Lion King. Duan Ling Tian felt more confident when he looked at the long and loose black robes he had bought. He began to feel more at ease as well. When Duan Ling Tian realized he had forgotten to take away Xie Zong's minor mirror image talisman before he killed Xie Zong, he was extremely stressed on the inside even though outwardly he remained calm. This was all due to Xie Zong's father, the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect. The Golden Lion King's cultivation base was at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial stage. If Duan Ling Tian had to fight him, there was no doubt he would die. After Duan Ling Tian made his preparations, he began to relax a little. With my current face and the long and loose robes I bought, the Golden Lion King probably won't be able to recognize me. Now that Duan Ling Tian had time, he began to think about what had happened today. He thought of how he lured Xie Zong out of Sin City and killing Xie Zong in just one move with his sword before he could activate the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. Apart from that, he finally regained the Super Saint weapon, the Devil Seal Tablet. Duan Ling Tian felt like he was dreaming when he thought about this. When Xie Zong came to the Azure Cloud Mansion and treated me like an ant because of his superior strength, I was so helpless. It was true that, at that time, I was like an ant. I wouldn't have been able to endure even a blow from him. Duan Ling Tian's thoughts returned to the time when Xie Zong had barged into the Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province. At that time, Xie Zong was extremely domineering, for that reason, he had no choice but to hand the Devil Seal Tablet over to Xie Zong. The helplessness he felt at that time was still fresh in his mind. Apart from that, he reneged on his promise after he killed Elder Ku. He wanted to kill everyone in the Azure Cloud Mansion except for those who have very close ties with me. At that time, Duan Ling Tian was furious and helpless that Xie Zong had deceived him. Duan Ling Tian felt helpless more than anything else. Although Xie Zong reneged on his promise, he still could not stop Xie Zong. He could only silently swear to kill Xie Zong one day in the future. After two years, I'm finally able to fulfill the promise I made to myself back then. After taking a deep breath, Duan Ling Tian's eyes seemed unfocused as he murmured to himself, Elder Ku, I've killed Xie Zong to avenge you. You can rest in peace now, 
As for our ten brothers from the Black Armored Army, this useless young mansion master has finally avenged all of you. You may all rest in peace now. Duan Ling Tian sighed in relief after that. Xie Zong, I'm afraid that until the end, you didn't think I'll be able to kill you so easily, right? Duan Ling Tian's thoughts went back to Xie Zong whom he killed today. Today, Duan Ling Tian had seized the chance and killed Xie Zong in one move with the Jasper Celestial Sword when Xie Zong thought he could gain the upper hand by using the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. From the beginning until the end, Xie Zong did not even have time to react. It's a pity I didn't let him feel despair before he died. It was too easy of a death for him. Xie Zong had been killed swiftly in just a blow with Duan Ling Tian's sword. Perhaps, he did not feel anything at all when he died. After all, Xie Zong was certain he would gain the upper hand when he threw the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman out. Duan Ling Tian thought it was a shame that he had died so easily. Regardless, now that he's dead, there's no more enmity between us. Not only did I regain the Devil Seal Tablet, but he had also left behind a Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman for me. Duan Ling Tian muttered to himself as he took the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman out. Upon closer inspection, the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman seemed like an ordinary Deo Talisman if there were no many flashes of violet lightning around it. While Duan Ling Tian was studying the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, whoosh, a tall and terrifyingly fast figure flew into Sin City and immediately found Chu Tan Shang, the Black Kshetra Sect Elder. Chu Tan Shang was the one who accompanied Xie Zong today. He was also the leader of the team that Black Kshetra Sect sent out to buy resources. Upon seeing the furious expression Xie Kong Sun's face and his sudden appearance, Chu Tan Shang's expression changed immediately. An ominous feeling rose in his heart. Great Lord Karmapa, the Golden Lion King had left the Black Kshetra sect to come to Sin City? He would beat himself silly if he thought the Golden Lion King had come for a stroll in Sin City. Pa? When Chu Tan Shen respectfully greeted Xie Kong Sun, Xie Kong Sun responded by giving him a hard slap across his face. With that slap alone, Chu Tan Sheng's face became swollen. He was stunned and did not dare to show any hint of resentment. Did something really happen to Xie Zong? Chu Tang Sheng shuddered. At this moment, the anger the Golden Lion King emitted was palpable. My son, Xie Zong, was lured out of Sin City and killed by this person. Xie Kong Sun said as he took out a scroll and quickly used a brush to draw a picture of a young man. This, Chu Tan Sheng felt a sense of familiarity when he looked at the picture. It was as though he had seen him before. Before Chu Tan Sheng managed to figure out where he had seen the man before, Xie Kong Sun said, This man is the young mansion master of the Azure Cloud Mansion from the lower province. His name is Duan Ling Tian. Duan Ling Tian, the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province? Chu Tan Sheng finally remembered where he had seen that young man. Duan Ling Tian was the lucky person who obtained the Super Saint weapon, the Devil Seal Tablet. However, his Devil Seal Tablet was taken away by their Black Kshetra Sect Elder, Xie Zong. It's him? Chu Tan Sheng finally realized why the young man on the scroll looked familiar. As it turned out, he had seen portraits of this man circulating in the upper province. The portraits had come from the lower province. Apart from being the young mansion master of the Azure Cloud Mansion, he's also the new prodigy, the second strongest prodigy, in the Fire Worship Sect. Xie Kong Sun said icily, making Chu Tan Sheng shudder. Upon hearing Xie Kong Sun's words, Chu Tang Sheng was stunned. Then, he asked in disbelief, Are you sure, Great Lord Karmapa? I've seen the portrait of Duan Ling Tian from the Fire Worship Sect. They look different. When Duan Ling Tian, the new prodigy in the Fire Worship Sect, first rose to fame in the Upper Province, his portraits were circulated among the major forces in the Upper Province, including the Black Kshetra Sect. As it happened, Chu Tang Sheng had seen a portrait of the Fire Worship Sect's second strongest prodigy, Duan Ling Tian. This was the reason why he was skeptical. Duan Ling Tian has mastered an undetectable disguising tactic that changes the bone structure of his face, Xie Kong Sun answered Chu Tan Sheng's question icily. Although Xie Kong Sun only saw Duan Ling Tian's disguising tactic through the minor major mirror image talisman, as a powerhouse at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage, a top powerhouse in the upper province, he could tell how extraordinary the technique Duan Ling Tian had mastered was. Such disguising methods exist. Chu Tang Sheng was shocked. When he regained his senses, he began to think out loud. 
I'm afraid even people from Fire Worship Sect won't expect that their strongest prodigy, Duan Ling Tian, is the same lucky person from the lower province who obtained the Devil Seal Tablet. Make copies of this portrait and distribute it to all Black Kshetra Sects members who are currently in Sin City. Anyone with any information must report to me immediately, this person is a master of disguise. Even if someone only has the same body size, report it to me as well, Xie Kong Sun ordered calmly as he looked at Chu Tan Shang. Yes, Chu Tan Shang responded respectfully with a nod before he left to find the others to pass them the portraits. Although he had several questions in mind, he did not dare to ask Xie Kong Sun. I'm afraid Sin City is going to be chaotic for a while, Chu Tan Shang thought to himself as he left. Based on the conversation Chu Tan Shang had with the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas in the Black Kshetra sect, he knew that everyone who shared similar body size to the man in the portrait would not be able to escape death once they were found. Chapter 2118, Shocking News Supposedly, only quasi-celestial grade Deo Talisman Masters are able to inscribe Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talismans, but quasi-celestial grade Deo Talisman Masters are as rare as a phoenix in the upper province. Duan Lingtian muttered to himself as he studied the Deo talisman that had many flashes of violet lightning around it. I'm afraid the Golden Lion King of the Black Kshetra sect expended a lot of effort to obtain this Deo talisman for his son, Xie Zong. After a while, Duan Lingtian thought to himself, it's a pity Xie Zong was instantly killed by my sword before he could activate the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. The Golden Lion King must have been furious when he saw the scene through the mirror image talisman. Meanwhile, somewhere in Sin City, Humph, Xie Kong Sun, the Golden Lion King who was one of the four great Karmapas in the Black Kshetra sect, scoffed with a dark expression on his face after Chu Tan Shang, a Black Kshetra sect elder, had left. Duan Ling Tian obtained the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman too easily. When Xie Kong Sun thought about the effort he had expended to obtain the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman and how it had fallen so easily into his enemy's hands, he could not help but feel dissatisfied and frustrated. It felt as though he was suffocating. Duan Ling Tian, it doesn't matter where you hide. I'll find you and tear you into a million pieces to avenge my son. Xie Kong Sun muttered to himself as killing intent surged from his body, causing passers-by on the street to instinctively avoid him. During this period of time, many sectless cultivators were violently killed on the streets. All of them shared a common denominator. They all had similar body types. This was obviously because of Duan Ling Tian. The person who had killed all those sectless cultivators was Xie Kong Sun, the Golden Lion King who was one of the four great Karmapas from the Black Kshetra sect. Although Xie Kong Sun had recently killed quite a number of people inside Sin City, none of the sectless powerhouses at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial stage in Sin City made a move to stop him. This confused many sectless cultivators in Sin City. Another person just died a few days ago. The Golden Lion King from the Black Kshetra sect is too outrageous. Many people shared the same sentiment. Conversations similar to this could heard in various restaurants in Sin City. Prior to this, some of the sectless cultivators in Sin City had heard that the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect, had come to Sin City. I heard that the Golden Lion King is looking for the person who murdered his son, Xie Zong. He's killing all those who share the same body type as the killer. He's killing people based on their body type? Is there something wrong with the Golden Lion King's eyes? How can he only remember the figure of the killer but not his face? I think it's because the killer has mastered a brilliant disguising technique that can change his facial bone structure. Moreover, the disguise can't be detected by divine consciousness. If that's the case, I can somehow understand why the Golden Lion King is acting this way. I've long heard that the Golden Lion King dotes on his son a lot since he only has one son in his old age. Currently, everyone knew that the son of the Golden Lion King, one of the four great Karmapas in the Black Kshetra sect, had been killed, and the Golden Lion King had come to Sin City to seek revenge from the killer. Above the Sin City, in the clouds, the Golden Lion King, Xie Kong Sun, stood with his back straight and his hands clasped behind him. He looked as sturdy as a tower as he stood there. He naturally, emitted a strong and suffocating pressure. Is it possible that he's no longer in Sin City? Xie Kong Sun muttered to himself in a low voice. Xie Kong Sun had killed almost a hundred people in just a short time. All these people had the same body type as Duan Ling Tian, 
the person who killed his son. The time I promised them is almost up. When Xie Kong Sun thought about this, his expression darkened immediately. The them he referred to were the sectless cultivators in Sin City who were at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial stage or higher. Previously, when Xie Kong Sun first arrived in Sin City, he paid a visit to the few sectless cultivators who were at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial stage or higher, to gain permission from these powerhouses to kill sectless cultivators in Sin City. He had to pay a price. Naturally, there was a time limit to how long he could go on a killing spree. Apart from that, Xie Kong Sun could not kill indiscriminately. He could only kill those who shared the same build as the person who killed his son. Currently, the time limit Xie Kong Sun was given was almost at its end. Once the time was up, he could no longer kill as he pleased in Sin City. Duan Ling Tian, do you think you will be able to get away with this as long as you continue hiding? Xie Kong Sun sneered as he narrowed his eyes. It was as though he had just thought of something. That day, a piece of shocking news spread in Sin City. Hey, did you hear about it? It seems like the person who killed the Golden Lion King's son, Xie Zong, is called Duan Ling Tian. He came from the lower province. Previously, Xie Zong had snatched the Devil Seal tablet from him. I've heard of him. He seems to be the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion, a quasi third rate force in the lower province. D did you say he killed Xie Zong? How's that possible? That's right. How's that possible? Since he's from the lower province, it should be impossible for him to kill Xie Zong, right? It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. I personally don't believe it. News about Duan Ling Tian, the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province, killing Xie Zong spread like wildfire in Sin City. It caused a great commotion but most people did not believe Duan Ling Tian was capable of killing Xie Zong. What a joke? Although Duan Ling Tian can be considered as a prodigy in the lower province, he's nobody in the upper province? You're telling me in just one or two years he grew strong enough to kill Xie Zong. That's impossible. How fake? This news is obviously fake. I can tell straight from the get-go. What a load of bullshit. If the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion from the lower province is capable of killing Xie Zong, I would be ranked first on the Supreme Saint ranking. Half a day had passed, and still, nobody believed a mere cultivator from the lower province like Duan Ling Tian was capable of killing Xie Zong. However, it did not take long before another piece of shocking news spread in Sin City. Duan Ling Tian, the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province successfully joined the fire worship sect. In less than two years since he arrived in the upper province, he became the second strongest prodigy in the sect. This news shocked the people in Sin City. Duan Ling Tian, the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect, was a hot topic among the people in recent times. There was rarely anyone who did not know about him. However, nobody had made the connection between him and the young mansion master of the Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province. Everyone thought it was just a coincidence that they shared the same name. Duan Ling Tian, the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect, is the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion? I is this true? I've seen both portraits of the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province and the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect. They aren't the same person. Don't forget that it's said that the person who killed Xie Zong has mastered a brilliant disguising technique. It's not surprising if he doesn't look the same. He could have disguised himself. If the young mansion master of the Azure Cloud Mansion and the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect are the same person, then he's entirely capable of killing Xie Zong. SOI it's true, the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion is the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect. It's not just a coincidence that they share the same name, he's the person who killed Xie Zong. I know it's hard to believe, but it seems like that's the truth. After listening to all the news, the sectless cultivators in Sin City managed to piece the puzzle together. If the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province and the second strongest prodigy in the fire prodigy were the same person, everything made sense. With Duan Ling Tian's strength, it should not be difficult for him to kill Xie Zong. The people from Sin City were shaken by this news. I didn't expect Duan Ling Tian, the second strongest prodigy in the fire worship sect, is the young mansion master of Azure Cloud Mansion in the lower province. I'm afraid Xie Zong probably didn't expect that as well. That's true. Someone who was like an ant before Xie Zong a couple of years ago whose Super Saint weapon, the Devil Seal Tablet, had been taken away, 
did not only manage to come to the upper province, but he even successfully joined the fire worship sect. Moreover, he had risen in rank so quickly that he's currently the second strongest prodigy in the sect. He even managed to avenge himself and killed Xiezong. How did someone from the lower province manages to achieve so much in two years since he arrived in the upper province? How monstrous is Duan Ling Tian's innate talent? Is it? I is it p possible that he possesses the legendary violet innate spiritual root? In Sin City, regardless if it was the sectless cultivators who stayed there or people from the major forces who came to visit, all of them were shocked by Duan Ling Tian's martial Dao innate talent. Duan Ling Tian has successfully sought revenge from Xie Zong by killing him. I wonder if the Devil Seal tablet was in Xie Zong's possession. If it was, then it has finally returned to its original owner. I think it's unlikely that Xie Zong carries the Devil Seal tablet with him. It's a super saint weapon on the 10 great saint weapons ranking after all. It's likely that he has handed it to his father, the Golden Lion King, after he brought the Devil Seal tablet back to the Black Kshetra sect. That's what I think as well. Soon after, most people's attention turned to the super saint weapon, the Devil Seal tablet. After all, the enmity between Xie Zong, an elder from the Black Kshetra sect, and Duan Ling Tian from the lower province stemmed from the Devil Seal tablet. Chapter 2119, The Five Great Sectless Cultivators New after news that spread like wildfire in Sin City managed to temporarily distract the people from the fact that the Devil's clans had probably invaded the lower province of the Dao Martial Saint Land. At this moment, people were more curious if Duan Ling Tian had reclaimed the Devil Seal tablet that Xie Zong had forcefully taken away from him back then. If Xie Zong carried the Devil Seal tablet with him, then it was likely Duan Ling Tian had regained ownership of the Devil Seal tablet. If Xie Zong did not have it, it had to be in the possession of the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect. Since Xie Kong Sun was Xie Zong's father, it was possible that Xie Zong had handed the Devil Seal tablet to his father. While everyone was still discussing where the Devil Seal tablet was, another piece of shocking news began to spread in Sin City again. Xie Zong had the Devil Seal tablet with him. Moreover, the sword Duan Ling Tian used to kill Xie Zong is also one of the Super Saint weapons on the 10 Great Saint Weapons ranking, the Traceless Sword. This means Duan Ling Tian possesses two Super Saint weapons. News about Duan Ling Tian possessing two Super Saint weapons spread immediately and caused an uproar in Sin City. In the entire Dao Martial Saint land, there were only 10 Super Saint weapons. Currently, there was a person who owned two out of ten Super Saint weapons. Any normal person would feel jealous. Why? Why? Is Duan Ling Tian that talented that he owns two Super Saint weapons? I refuse to accept this. I want to kill Duan Ling Tian and take the two Super Saint weapons from him. I'll definitely do it if he's in front of me right now. Me too. Many similar remarks were heard in Sin City. There was a person who owned two Super Saint weapons. Put aside the ordinary people in Sin City. Even the sectless cultivators at the seventh form of the saint celestial stage or higher were tempted and felt envious. Su, 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 one after another, a swift and violent sound slicing through the wind was heard. Five rapidly moving figures flew out from various places in Sin City. Their speed was so fast that most of the sectless cultivators in Sin City could barely catch their movements. All five figures were heading in the same direction. They were all making their way to the temporary residence of Xie Kong Sun, the Golden Lion King. The Black Kshetra had a mansion in Sin City. Golden Lion King. Old Man Xie. Great Karmapa Xie. The five figures arrived above the mansion at about the same time. Once they arrived, they looked at each other before they began to call for Xie Kong Sun without even greeting each other first. They hovered in the air as they looked down on the mansion below them. It was obvious the person they were looking for was inside the mansion. Among the five people, there was an old man, an old lady, a middle-aged man, a young man, and a beautiful woman. They were all calling for the Golden Lion King, one of the four great karmapas of the Black Kshetra sect. Xie Kong Sun, the Golden Lion King, stepped out of his mansion and flew into the air in just a blink of an eye after they stopped calling out for him. He looked at them and asked, What's the matter? Xie Kong Sun did not dare to act arrogantly when faced with the five of them. He had spoken politely to them. After all, these five people were powerhouses at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage or higher. Naturally, there were more than five powerhouses at the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage in Sin City. However, 
Only five of them came when they heard the rumors of Duan Lingtian owning two Super Saint weapons. They knew without a doubt that the news were spread by the Golden Lion King, one of the four great Karmapas in the Black Kshetra sect. This was the reason they had come here. The middle-aged man snorted before he said with a frown, Humph, old man Xia, stop pretending, you know why we're here. The other four people turned to look at Xia Kong Sun, the Golden Lion King, in unison. Their eyes were gleaming brightly. Everyone, I give you my word that the Devil Seal tablet was with my son, Xia Zong. As for the Traceless Sword, I'm not 100% sure. After all, I've only heard of it. I've not seen it before. Xia Kong Sun knew there was no point in hiding anything so he said without beating around the bush, however, through the mirror image, I saw the scene of Duan Ling Tian murdering my son, Xia Zong. At that time, my son had taken out the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman to kill Duan Ling Tian. As he reached the end of his sentence, his voice turned lower. The Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman? Old man Xia, you really love your son to have given him a Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman. The middle-aged man said in surprise as he raised an eyebrow, He's my only son. Naturally, there's nothing I wouldn't do for him, Xia Kong Sun said with conviction. When he spoke, his voice was low and his expression was extremely dark as though he was about to erupt in anger. His only son had died? When Xia Kong Sun thought about it, the anger in him boiled so much that it made his body trembled slightly. He looked similar to an enraged lion. His white hair had a tinge of gold in it, making him look like his title, the Golden Lion King. That was how he had gotten his title. Just as my son prepared to kill Duan Lingtian with the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, Duan Lingtian made a move. Duan Lingtian used some mysterious sword play technique and killed my son. From the beginning until the end, not only did my son not have time to activate the Violet Myrtle Celestial Thunder Talisman, but he didn't even have time to react at all. The sword's extremely fast that it's almost untraceable. The Thousand Inscription Saint's sword is like scrap metal compared to it, Xia Kong Sun said confidently. When Xia Kong Sun finished speaking, the young man could not help but exclaim in a low voice, traceless attacks. His eyes were as bright as stars as he said, based on your words, great karma pa Xia, the sword Duan Lingtian used has to be the traceless sword. The other four people also nodded in assent. Thank you, great karma pa Xia. The young man thanked Xia Kong Sun and left like a gust of wind. Soon after, the other four followed suit and left as well. They came and left as quickly like a gust of wind. At this moment, Xia Kong Sun was the only one left in the sky overlooking the huge mansion. Duan Ling Tian, since you possess two Super Saint weapons, I'm going to make you the public's enemy. Xia Kong Sun sneered. I want to see if you're going to give up the two Super Saint weapons. If you don't, you'll have the entire upper province coming after you. Humans were greedy by nature. Once news spread about Duan Ling Tian owning two Super Saint weapons, everyone would definitely try to take it away from him. Duan Ling Tian would be the target for everyone in the upper province. As the saying went, sometimes wealth would bring calamity. As news of this spread, it seemed like everyone's latest hobby was to search for Duan Ling Tian. Naturally, they were all looking to get their hands on the two Super Saint weapon in his possession. The Golden Lion King is really ruthless. It's going to be hard for me to survive in the upper province. A month had passed when Duan Ling Tian learned about what had been going on. Currently, his cultivation base had successfully risen to the intermediate quintessential saint stage. However, his joy was short-lived when he learned about the various news that had been circulating. Unless I'm willing to give up the Devil Seal tablet, I'll be everyone's target until I become strong enough to hold on to the Devil Seal tablet. Duan Ling Tian was aware of the situation he was in. That was why he said the Golden Lion King was ruthless. Apart from that, everyone knows now that I'm the second strongest prodigy in the Fire Worship Sect and the Young Mansion Master of the Azure Cloud Mansion in the Lower Province. I'm afraid it won't be long before news of me being the Young Mansion Master of the Azure Cloud Mansion spreads to the Fire Worship Sect. It seems like there's no way for me to return to the Fire Worship Sect until I'm strong enough to rescue Kair and our daughter. If I return now, I'll become everyone's target. The Super Saint weapons were huge temptations. Even the sect leader of the Fire Worship Sect would covet it. Rumors had spread that Duan Ling Tian possessed the Devil Seal Tablet and the Traceless Sword, it would undoubtedly cause trouble for him. That Golden Lion King must have thought my Jasper Celestial Sword is the Traceless Sword. 
It's easy to deal with the matter regarding the traceless sword since I can swear on the lightning penalty oath. At that time, people would have no choice but to believe it. However, I do possess the devil seal tablet. It's impossible for me to swear on the lightning penalty oath. If Duan Lingtian returned to the fire worship sect just like that, there would be a lot of high-ranking officials in the sect who would plot against him for the supposed two super saint weapons in his possession. Chapter 2120 Black-robed savior? Sometimes wealth brings calamity. Duan Lingtian had heard of the saying. Duan Lingtian felt pressured. It weighed on his heart like a huge stone. The Golden Lion King wants me to dispose of the two super saint weapons he thinks I possess. Unless I'm willing to give up the Devil Seal tablet, I can't simply reveal myself in public until I'm strong enough to hold on to the Devil Seal tablet. Duan Lingtian muttered to himself as his expression darkened. In other words, in the coming days, Duan Lingtian would not be able to use his name when he went out. Otherwise, he would be hunted by all the powerhouses in the upper province. As a super saint weapon, the Devil Seal tablet was a huge temptation. Moreover, the Golden Lion King had even said that Duan Lingtian also owned the Traceless Sword. Similar to the Devil Seal tablet, the Traceless Sword was also a super saint weapon ranked on the 10 Great Saint Weapons ranking. There are only 10 Super Saint weapons in the entire Dao Martial Saint land. Since the Golden Lion King spread the rumor that I own two Super Saint weapons, I'm afraid everyone is jealous of me. Duan Lingtian's eyes were cold like a snake that was about to devour its prey. Golden Lion King, I'll remember what you've done today. When I break through to the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage, you'll be able to join your son in hell. Since Duan Lingtian had been forced into a corner by the Black Kshetra Sex Golden Lion King, he had no choice but to go into hiding until he became strong enough to protect himself. For this reason, he hated the Golden Lion King to the core even though he had never met him. Innate Spiritual Roots I need more innate spiritual roots. Ever since Duan Lingtian's innate spiritual root turned indigo, he could clearly feel the improvement in his cultivation speed. Therefore, he became even more eager to improve his innate spiritual root. As long as my innate spiritual root evolves into a dark violet innate spiritual root, with the help of the time flow in the fourth level of the seven treasures exquisite pagoda, it'll take me a few years at most before I break through to the seventh form of the saint celestial stage. Once my cultivation base reaches the seventh form of the saint celestial stage, there's no need for me to hide anymore. At that time, it doesn't matter if I own the devil seal tablet or if I own two super saint weapons. Who would dare to offend me? At this moment, as Duan Lingtian indulged in his thoughts, he began to feel motivated again. It was as though he could already imagine himself breaking through to the seventh form of the Saint Celestial Stage. Naturally, after he regained his senses, it felt as though someone had poured a bucket of ice-cold water on him. Since I've disguised my face and my body is hidden by the long and loose black robe, no one will be able to recognize me even if my portraits are currently being circulated everywhere. Duan Lingtian sighed in relief when he thought about this. I've just broken through to the intermediate quintessential saint stage, and I still need it to stabilize. I should take advantage of this time to wander around Sin City to see if I encounter any more men from the Black Crow Alliance, Duan Lingtian muttered under his breath before he left the inn he was temporarily staying in. Fortunately, the men from Black Crow Alliance did not hear Duan Lingtian's words. Otherwise, they would have been afraid and they would not dare to take advantage of the situation in Sin City. With Duan Lingtian's current strength, he could kill the leader of the Black Crow Alliance with just a strike, let alone the ordinary members. The Black Crow Alliance was of similar strength to the Ground Axe Alliance. Both their leaders were at the third form of the Saint Celestial Stage. The deputy leader of Black Crow Alliance, Jiao Zhan, would never expect that the man who had impersonated Bulet in Hong, a true disciple from the fire worship sect, and killed his brother, Jiao Tu, was planning to act against the Black Crow Alliance. For a period of time, Duan Lingtian wandered the streets of Sin City. Whenever he saw members from the Black Crow Alliance trying to take advantage of someone when they were hurt, he would kill the members of the Black Crow Alliance without showing any mercy. Naturally, it was not only the people from the Black Crow Alliance who took advantage of weaker people who were killed. Other people who acted similarly were killed by Duan Lingtian as well before he devoured their innate spiritual roots. However, the fact remained that the majority of the people who died in Duan Lingtian's hands was from the Black Crow Alliance. There was an uproar in the estate when the Black Crow Alliance found out about this. 
This black-robed man kills our men whenever he sees them trying to take advantage of the weak, moreover, he kills them with just a strike. This was shocking news to the people from the Black Crow Alliance. Suddenly, everyone in the Black Crow Alliance felt like they were in danger. In fact, many people thought they should stop taking advantage of the weak. Otherwise, they would definitely die if they met the black-robed man. Who the hell is he? Is he targeting the Black Crow Alliance? Does he want to make an enemy out of the Black Crow Alliance? One of the Black Crow Alliance members growled. Not only men from the Black Crow Alliance were killed by him. Those who bully or take advantage of the weak will be killed by him, another Black Crow Alliance member said. Based on his words, it seemed like he knew quite a bit about the black-robed man's modus operandi. What's he trying to do? Does he think he's a vigilante? How funny. Regardless, he has killed a lot of men from our Black Crow Alliance. He owes us an explanation. Owes us an explanation? Are you kidding me? Generally, People from the Black Crow Alliance wear uniforms that show we're from the Black Crow Alliance. Did it seem like the man gave a shit when he killed our men? In my opinion, the black-robed man is simply trying to provoke the Black Crow Alliance. If he doesn't die, it'll be hard for our alliance to remain standing in Sin City in the future. Similar remarks could be heard in the Black Crow Alliance's estate. Bang! A sudden loud bang came from the front yard of one of the mansions inside the Black Crow Alliance's estate. The sound was caused by Jiao Zhan, the deputy leader of the Black Crow Alliance, when he destroyed the stone table in his front yard. Not only did he destroy the stone table, but there was a hole where the stone table originally stood. There were dust and debris everywhere. Who gave him the courage to do this? He dares to kill so many of my men. Jiao Han said angrily as his eyes gleamed coldly. He looked like a poisonous snake at this moment. Since leader and the other two deputy leaders aren't around. I'll deal with you, black-robed vigilante. As soon as Jiao Zhan finished speaking, he left his mansion like a gust of wind. The black-robed man was what people from the Black Crow Alliance called Duan Ling Tian since no one knew who he was. Little did they know, it was Duan Ling Tian who was hiding his identity. It's still too slow. I've killed so many people, but they all had low-grade innate spiritual roots. It's just like a drop of water in a bucket to improve my indigo innate spiritual root. There was a frown on Duan Ling Tian's face as he wandered around Sin City again. Hey, did you hear about it? Recently, a black-robed man has appeared in Sin City who seems to very righteous and filled with justice. Duan Ling Tian suddenly heard people speaking in front of him. Are you talking about that black-robed man who killed a lot of the Black Crow Alliance members for taking advantage of the weak? That's right. You say he's righteous, but why do I feel like it's a dog-eat-dog -dog situation? Well take makes sense as well. However, even if that's the case, I don't hate him. Because of him, the people from the Black Crow Alliance have toned down a little. Duan Ling Tian was not surprised when he heard this since he had heard conversations similar to this before. There were people in Sin City who praised and criticized his actions. Some people thought he was like a vigilante, and there were also people who thought it was a dog-eat-dog -dog situation, and he was a wicked man. Regardless of what people said, Duan Ling Tian only ignored them and continued to wander around Sin City, looking for those wicked men who took advantage of the weak. If one appeared, he would kill one. If two appeared, he would kill two. In other words, he was intentionally looking for trouble with these people to improve his innate spiritual root. Bang, 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 bang. A series of explosions rang in the air suddenly, catching Duan Ling Tian's attention. He looked over to the source of the commotion and saw two people fighting. Based on what he could see, it seemed like neither would give up until the other died. This fight had attracted many powerhouses' attention. Duan Ling Tian hid at the side so there were not many people who noticed him. Otherwise, there would definitely be a commotion since he was famous in Sin City now. His long and loose black robe had become his trademark. In Sin City, no matter where it was, a commotion would break out if a person in a long and loose black robe appeared even if the person was not Duan Ling Tian. There are more and more people fighting death duels recently, Duan Ling Tian could not help but smile bitterly when he saw those two people fighting in the distance. Recently, there were a lot of people who managed to stay alive even after losing their death duels due to Duan Ling Tian's intervention. For this reason, many people began to get into death duels since they felt Duan Ling Tian would protect them.